how do you define crypto economics? Mm -hmm. Have we arrived at a definition of what it is yet? I do a lot of data analysis because there's so much noise mm. that, that a lot of what we've done so far has been Let's just get a clear picture of what's going what, on. What is noise on a noise blockchain? Noise on a blockchain change addresses. Have you seen this growing estimate? It's called um, adjusted economic transaction value. We call it economic transaction. No, I haven't looked at that. Sounds so interesting. It's, it's <laughs> so for a long time, you would, you would try and figure out what's going on on chain. You'd mm. go to maybe blockchain.info and right, look at the yeah. transaction volume. Sure. Turns out yeah, about, I think about 80% of that is is noise. Really? Yeah. Okay. So well, I've, I've been using that a lot. So. <laughs> well, the trend is the trend will be there if you're yeah. looking at the trend. So if it's trending up, you know they they move in tandem. Hmm. But if you wanted to know actually how much economic value, how much economic activity is happening on the exchange, uh, then um, then you would need to use an adjusted statistic because of. Um, largely because of change. But on top of that, there's a lot of, for example, when a, someone sends funds to someone else, sometimes it can pass through hundreds of addresses in you know, however mm. short a period of time it can possibly do that. So I send to you, but I decide to send to you through 50 wallets. Uh, so like a mixer or something like that? Maybe, right? maybe a mixer, mm. maybe just it's like I'm really obsessed with security, so I just do it sure, on my own. Sure. Um, would you, if I send you one Bitcoin through 50 addresses, is it fair to say that there was 50 Bitcoin in transaction value transacted in our exchange? Mm -hmm, you have to like kind of try and figure out mm -hmm. how to whittle down the noise to get the true value. So, so what is, so it's, you said 80% is about? I like, think it was about 80%. Really wow. Yeah. And so the metric you're trying to deliver is what the real uh, economic? Yeah, activity is. is. Okay. Uh-huh. And so um, just going back to your question about cryptonomics, mm. um, I think what we want to be able to do is to be able to um, explain what happened last week mm. and on chain and what's going to be happening the following week mm. and just to kind of provide clarity. So if there's a major price shift, we would be able, well positioned to be able to say what we think happened. Mm. So that's crypto economics.